hello and good morning from this side of the world <laughs> from this day in this time of the world basically anyways let's get right into the main reason why you're here in this video so in this video i'm going to be explaining to you how you can reduce your a cost your advertising spend so you get more returns on your investment on amazon seller central so anyone on this video i believe okay you're selling on amazon or you want to start selling on amazon so i'm just going to be showing you things that i have learned on my amazon journey on especially in the area of reducing your advertising cost I have some very common ones you can find on the streets of youtube actually but stay tuned to the end of this video because i am going to be sharing the one i've personally found that's not so common on youtube but remember i said at the end of this video i'm going to be showing the ones that i have newly found that has really improved my advertising strategy on amazon seller central so of course we have the idea idea of okay manual sponsoring automatic sponsoring so for the automatic we know here's where um amazon amazon takes the keywords from your listings and uses it to target target um, audience that they feel would respond to your product or they feel will need your product now this is a great one but the issue here is Amazon could possibly be ranking your keywords for items in a different category. So say for example, you're selling paints, paints for like painting houses or anything like that. And then someone else is selling paints for um, maybe painting like artwork and all of that. Now Amazon could take your, could mistakenly take your paints for house painting and rank it on the pages of people that sell paint for artwork. Do you get what I mean? Just because of that keyword paint, paint. So now you need to take, take a close look at this, look at your data from Amazon to be sure that Amazon isn't ranking you for those keywords, especially if you're on the automatic uh, target. So you take a look at that and turn off those keywords. So Amazon isn't charging you when people are clicking because your target audience are looking for paints for housing and not paints for artwork. Do you get what I mean? So you spend less on advertising when there's less click for the wrong target. So ensure that your keywords, your Amazon is targeting the listings that corresponds to what you're actually selling. So you need to take a look at that. That would help you significantly reduce your your spend on Amazon and your um and your acres in general. Another thing to take note of is your bidding. So what is your bidding price? So now on what I usually say for your advertising is you have to test, test, test. You can't just stick to one method and say, oh, okay, this method is the one that I feel is best and leave it like that. No, test other strategies. Implement different things here and there when you're advertising. So say, for example, when you started your say your first ads, for example, your bidding was, say, 0 0.75 or 0 0.85 jige. So I know Amazon gives a range, so you can pick within that range. So say you go 0 0.85 and you start that, and you, you're getting sales where your cost is quite high. You can try and reduce that bidding and see if you're still going to get good sales with that reduced bidding because sometimes you may overbid and it's possible that reducing the bidding is going to get you more sales and reduce your acres as well so but be careful so you don't bid too low because once you bid too low amazon isn't going to show your ads to people because other people of course would have bid better than you but overbidding too much anything is not good basically so over bidding may be an issue so also check out your bidding how much you're bidding for each product and test it and see okay what bidding value gives you the best acres and gives you the best returns basically on your investment now this strategy also applies to manual targeting now for the manual targeting aspect when you put in your your listing amazon actually gives you um some keyword ideas that can be linked to what's your um listing what people that needs your product may be searching for online gives you some ideas actually do take a look at those ideas because yes those keywords are generated from amazon's backlog of people searching for particular things so don't completely dismiss it because you're going on manual targeting take a look at it because some of those keywords really do work and are really helpful another way you can another way you can um be able to tell the right keywords to use when going on manual targeting using um this tool called zombies 
or using uber suggest so you can search it and it gives you keywords that people use when searching for particular products so say, so say for example the paint house paint you put the keyword on uber suggest for example and then type house paint and you notice that it gives you these keywords keyword ideas that you can use to also run your targeting as well as for zombies gives you keyword ideas of what people search for when they're searching for particular things because to you you may just call it house paint but someone else may call it uh um paints for house do you get what i mean or um or um blue paints or something paint for um paint for palo paint or something you get what i mean so you get these ideas you get the suggested ideas from uber suggest or from um or from um, zombies or from any keyword research tool basically that's linked to Amazon that can help you with Amazon keywords so it's important that you don't so it's very important that you don't just go ahead and select keywords from your mind just on top of your mind no that's also good but still you may end up spending more on advertising because these are just from your mind and losing out on keywords that would possibly get you better results uh, the slide trees Anyways, um, let's not get distracted. So now over to the points that I have noticed basically for um, running ads on Amazon. Now, when I started off, when I started running ads on Amazon, yeah, I tried running ads on Facebook as well and on Instagram as well. I tried it as well to run the ads over to Amazon. Do you get what I mean? Now, what I noticed was that Running ads on Facebook and Instagram can be quite cheap. It's actually quite cheap compared to running ads on Amazon. But the thing here is now, is this now. When you run ads on Facebook, you put your link, you put your link there in the, um, you put your link there in the description or on the call to action button. Tell people to click on the link, then redirect them to Amazon. Now, here is the issue with that. People are going to click on that link quite all right, but then, going to the page of amazon amazon requires them to then sign in so there's like a blocker between facebook and amazon so you have to sign in into amazon now that is a mood killer i tell you it is a proper mood killer because if someone has to sign in before going they just lose interest do you get but if something that okay a person can just quickly go to the page and then buy and purchase or whatnot then it's easier but that area of signing in now what happens is just maybe you have 100 clicks just maybe two or three people that really really need that product would actually sign in but the rest probably won't do you get what i mean so i wouldn't advise for to run ads on facebook and instagram unless there's a different method i'm sure there are other methods that works maybe running the ads to a website to a web page or so where they don't have to sign in do you get what i mean they have to run ads to the web page or so but if you're running the ads to uh amazon so if you're running the ads from Facebook directly to Amazon, I do not, I do not um, approve of that. Well, as at now, maybe later in future, there'll be better ways to do that, which of course I'll share on this channel. But as of now, running from Instagram or Facebook directly to Amazon is a no-no for me. So now in this video, I'm going to be showing you ways that you can actually utilize the Amazon ads and get the results that you want on a very, and get good return on your investment and get like, great result basically on Amazon so that the advertising spend isn't that high. I know I know Amazon's um, advertising cost is quite high. It's quite high compared to other platforms, but I'm going to show you how you can utilize it and get the best results from your Amazon ads basically. Now, drum rolls. <laughs> Over to the um, parts I told you about earlier where of what i realized of running ads from amazon now i am in nigeria and i'm in nigeria and i'm selling on amazon i don't know what country you're from watching this video but one thing i realized is that the nigerian time is west african time of course but my market space i am currently working with is the united states so i currently work um, run my amazon ads sell my products in the united states i know there are other market places as well like there's mexico there's canada i think there's also uk as well but for now my major focus is on us because that is where the main market is maybe later in future i could also divert into all those other marketplaces but for now i am staying on the um for now i am staying on the on the u.s market place in in some of my previous videos i explained why i didn't want to go into other marketplaces yet due to their so it's some other costs and everything. I'm going to link that in the description. 
you can use the same time zone that you used to run your ads to run on um on amazon for us for example i don't know how much your your spend is but i would advise that you use the time frame of when your target audience is awake to run those ads now what i've realized in nigeria is that the best timing to run ads at amazon is within the timing of six of 6 p.m five between five and six p.m till between 6 and 7 a.m in the morning why because that is the period when the u.s audience are awake so um in nigeria the 6 p.m watt time is about 11 a.m in in um in u.s so what i simply did was to ensure that i was running my ads within the time frame of 6 p.m between 5 and 6 p.m then turning it off by 7 a.m i don't know how much you're willing to spend on your ads but what i started off what was what i started off with was ten dollars ten dollars um then fine moved it up to um um, um fourteen dollars and then gradually gradually now the thing here is once your budget has been exceeded for that particular day because you know it's a pay per click kind of ad so once a click is got so you pay amazon for every um for every click that you get from the ads that's being run by amazon for you so now once that is over then you are going to your campaign budget is going to come to an end it's going to tell you campaign budget finished campaign is not running again because your budget has finished now within the times of 11 a.m and sorry within the times of that's in u.s time within the times of 11 a.m to about uh 8 p.m within that time frame that is nigerian style within the time of six 6 p.m till about okay if you say 6 p.m to about 6 a.m 6 a.m is about towards midnight basically so in that time frame, people are more likely to purchase a product from you and someone is just scrolling through amazon around 3 a.m or so and it's just running it's getting impressions because you're also being charged for impression it's just running getting impression what i realized that people don't really buy except from within that time frame window so you can test that out and see for yourself as well yeah, she may be getting clicks during other times, but it's like I, I, they buy more within that time frame of of six p.m. Nigerian time and uh, six a.m. Nigerian time. So now you're going to have to convert that depending on what um, country you're 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 running your ads from. So let's say now the U.S. time. We need to target the times the U.S. time of between eleven a.m. to about. 10 p.m in target those times because those, those are the times that they are fully awake and they make a better buying decision during that period so they are more likely to buy your product within that morning time within that time of 11 a.m to about 10 11 p.m for your for um us time now i don't know if you're if you're going if your market is canada or, or mexico so you need to also look at the timing when your target audience is awake because we have different time zones do you get what i mean so the time zones are different so you have to make sure you're, you're running your ads based on that time zone where your target audience is going to actually be awake to buy your product as like within that time zone where they are ready to buy your product do you get what i mean so always take note of that so that was what significantly helped me in running my ads and getting the results that i wanted for my ads so that is a top one that you should definitely try and implement and you see the results you're going to get and don't forget to come back to this video to testify of how amazing the result was once you started getting your results i believe that is it for now thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video so if you have any questions that you may need answers to please leave a comment in the section down below and i will be there to respond to any of your questions thank you bye